What's up, guys? This is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with a layered haircut with disconnection. I love this haircut. We did it on FSE Live, but I wanted to break it down in a six minute video so you could see the step by step on the original mannequin that we cut. So here we go. All right, so we start off the haircut. We're going to cut concave layers. But you'll notice that I'm not grabbing all of the hair and bringing it up. I clipped away um, from the occipital bone down. It's actually a little bit above the occipital bone, and I'll show you guys. You'll see it throughout the haircut. Um, everything's being over-directed straight back um, to the previous section. So you go section one, then you go two to one, then you go three to two, and just work your way across the head. That'll give us that nice kind of bobbed, beveled look, but it's nice and light because it's layered and concaved. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, going through, taking my sections. The only difference is I'm pushing the hair towards the guide now, so away from my body, um, and before I was pulling the hair towards my body. So uh, just working through the back there, over-directing to the previous section, cutting those concave layers in the back. Again, I have the occipital bone down, sectioned away, so that's nice and long hair underneath there, and that's what's going to create that disconnection in the haircut. Now I comb everything directly back. I'm working with the round of the head now, and I'm cutting everything at 90 degrees, connecting it to that concave layer that I just cut. So bringing everything straight out from where it lives, 90 degrees, following the head shape, and cutting right down to uh, my guideline, which was the concave layer that we cut. Last little bit. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side using our previously cut first section as our guide, working our way through at 90 degrees. I love this cut because it gives so much texture to the hair and it all comes from this layering. It's really, really important that you cut these layers at 90 degrees, exactly 90 degrees around the head because otherwise they're going to look too light or they're going to look too heavy and you're going to have a shelf. So just make sure that you go through there at exactly 90 degrees, follow that head shape, and uh, you'll be happy with the cut. Now we're grabbing our guide from the, from the back, shifting our finger angle forward. So we're pushing the weight to the, hi the highest point is going to be right in the center high point of the head. You can see the angle there. So we're layering the bang, which in most cases you wouldn't want to do this, the reason I like doing it in this haircut is because that's making the front fringe or the front bang area nice and light. So then I can go in in the dry cut and soften it and have a nice broken up fringe. I think a lot of people have a challenge creating a broken fringe in the front of a haircut. So this is a great way um, to, to know that you are layering it on purpose, but you can see how see-through that fringe is and that nice U-shape that it creates in the front. So all those layers, now I'm going to take out all the disconnections. There was a disconnection in the temple area on both sides and then a disconnection in the very back occipital bone area. And um, that's, that's pretty much it for the wet cut. So you comb out those disconnections. Now you have the layers all over the head and uh, the long hair underneath. So now we're going to blow it dry really quick. Iron it. You can see when I work with the Vibra Straight Iron, I work all my sections vertical. That allows me to not have creases in the haircut, but it polishes out nice. You can see how seamless those layers fall. Now we're going to make them more seamless by going in and doing some point cutting. So I work across the fringe uh, because there is going to be a heavy bevel right at the top of the fringe line. So I go through horizontally. I hold up that hair and I just go through and point cut just to soften that line across the fringe. Not trying to take out too much weight or recreate a line. I just want to go in there and soften what I've cut already. Now I'm going to do the same thing through the rest. So those 90 degree sections that we took through the top of the haircut, I go through just lighten those up a bit. There you go, just a little bit more. Pretty much keeping the scissor, or the, the sheer vertical. And if you guys are wondering what scissor I'm using, this is the DB20. It works on dry hair as well. It's pretty much my go-to scissor I use all the time. Uh, it's the Mizutani DB20. You can see it on freesaloneducation.com. All right, now the last little bit that I'm going to do is take a vertical section and just melt 
the long disconnected piece with the fringe. So I shift my scissor, I put my thumb in the opposite direction, shift my scissor down, and then I can slide cut into um, that disconnection just to connect it a little bit. This is the other way of doing a slide cut on the opposite side. I'm gonna take a little bit of cream wax. Uh, this is a Bricado Carve. I like using a cream wax, especially in a haircut like this, because you can just see as soon as I get my hands in it, it comes to life. That's what this haircut's all about, creating all those layers. I hope you guys like it. Post in the comments below. Let me know what you think and what you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this with your friends. We'll see you on the next video.